Welcome comrades, this is Ice with Jim here, and today we're going to be continuing playing Danganronpa V3. Last episode we were discovering Rantaro's death, and now we are here at the courtroom. So, so we managed to get a lot of these items, I'm very grateful for that. So we're going to be playing this on hard difficulty. I am scared, to be honest, because I have no idea how this will end, so... Let's begin the class trial. Class trial. In session. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. That would be helpful. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. All right. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death, so you better vote for someone. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway. All right, fine, so, shut up. It's starting, huh? <laughs> oh, man. I haven't been in a trial in, like, forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, wow. <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Now that is true, where Don't do we start? I've never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. No pushing, no running, no talking. That's where the whole is the foundation of any discussion. That is true. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Now that's Let actually kind of smart. With that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? I can get ahead of us. You trying to start some shit? Oh, shut up. C calm down. How about we listen first? Mm -hmm. Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. Now that is a good I'm way to start. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Oh, what is it? I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange, too. That is kind of strange. Like that they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. Then Monokuma's the culprit, the doi. Because this whole class trial was his idea. Oh, yeah! Easy peasy. I'm a no. Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? No. Of course not. I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? Was that? <laughs> oh. I don't know any mastermind. They're all acting nervous. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyblade over here. Everyone else thinks so too. Does everyone really think that? No. We'll you're get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. That is true. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events. Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. All right. Gota agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. That is then useful. Then let's start by reviewing the incident. All right. All right. All right. Let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. When the class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. And now the class trial has begun. Oh. And. Things progressing during each class trial, non-stop debate occurs. Turns truth cylinder 
focus, shoot truth bullets, fast forward, argument, confirm truth bullet, controls, move it some bullet selection. Oh, that's actually really handy. Oh, truth cylinder, electric bullet, time. Uh, weak spot, okay. During non stop debate, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to undergo any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets to gather your view, you know what to say. And your relevant truth bullets you found during the investigation will be loaded to the truth cylinder. Use the L to aim, okay. Uh, aim for the golden words display in their statement, those are the weak spots, okay. Okay. Remember, you might not be able to refute the volley. You have to use the right truth bullet. Refer everyone's statement to the truth bullets you have. And shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak spot. Now, note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Oh, I almost forgot the new element. During the class area, you can concentrate and make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within the weak spot called the beat point. Okay, during the note. Okay, okay, thank you. Non stop debate start. Alright, come on, file one, moving book case, turn to our body was found. Just before the time limit, right? Yes. He was killed in the library. That is true. Rantaro was alone in the library. Okay, the that's still so down. No. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding. Not sure. ah. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. How did I figure that out? Because of the belongings. I just click on the draw. Wait huh? a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Because. Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You that is think true. the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. That is a possibility. None of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. That is true. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. That is true. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Way then low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Hmm. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? That does seem plausible. That is possible. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kaidiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together Maybe. to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. I would love we to. Talk about teamwork. But you still think one of us is the master. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Coyote. I think this class trial is wow. the only way Looks to like take care of it. you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. Then here it comes. The cold hard truth. What? Huh? huh? I already figured out who killed Rantar. What? What? Why are you surprised? Because he's right. That would make this the fastest class trial to date. How <laughs> fast was the previous record anyway? 
real fast, let me tell you. One sword through the enemy fleet all badass just to die like a little bug. Shut I'm up, heroes. This is an important conversation. Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? He's lying. So we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shinichi's trap, right? No shit. That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! What? what? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. That is true, but it can be her. Someone would be able to sneak by. What the hell brought this on all of a sudden? Designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for? Huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. Oh, I'm quiet. always wet. Oh my word! I'm extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. For so impressive, you're kind of a wimp, aren't you? Come on, pull me up the hook already. D do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Okay, everyone's starting to suspect me, but is that really okay? From here on out, blue color weak spots will appear. Recall the weak spots you set up until now. Okay. Drew a cylinder, choose a bullet, focus, shoot the bullet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree point. We should agree point with the truth bullet. You need to flip your way of thinking instead of arguing it. Yeah, we have to agree with them. That's. It's like in the second game. Okay. Non stop debate, start. Why don't you just admit it already? Okay, You're the culprit, sorry. aren't you? Wait a minute. Maki. Let me take a look at um Kiba's account. She was in the okay. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? That's true! I agree with that. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I don't think Mew went to the basement either, right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw yes. her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. That's too sad to make sense. That's too dumb to make sense. For you. So there you have it. Mew's alibi. And slug? Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. What Gilgamesh level condescension? But which Grail War are you from? Jeez. Wow, another reference we don't get. <laughs> you must be a hardcore loser. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey! Don't be active.
getting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Whoa. <laughs> that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. But you were suspicious yourself. <laughs> better now cool your jets kid shimogi and kirumi were both in the dining hall as well we can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time no not the entire time at one point shimogi went to the restroom oh yeah oh, so you brought that up after all it's true i went to the restroom closest to the dining hall oh did i hear that right the restroom, you say? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Oh my Why gosh! Why she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Okay. Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no. I don't do disguises. That is true. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. Cospox. I get it. This movie can only cosplay as fictional characters. That is true. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Yeah. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. That is true. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cosplay if I even attempt it. Oh wow. Yeah, the cosplay was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. It's okay. I know it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aw, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Koichi, shut up. Fuck you too. Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Sumugi, Mi, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Can they? So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, Excellent. when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Kimiko, Angie, and Rentaro. So, seven people in total. Wait, where's Kokichi? So the culprit is among those seven? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! But of course! Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? That includes you too! Including Rentaro, one of the six people who to the basement. Mastermind of the killing game. The person who's making us endure all these terrible Why things. Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. I'm so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone. Like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's oh my word! Jeez, that face! <laughs> oh my gosh! Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaito. We just need to listen to everyone's statement. Oh, that's right. You can do this. 
right? Yeah, listen to everyone's statement. That's right, I can pick out everyone's voices and uh, as they talk over each other. What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame onto me! You dictionary nails and you're thrusting! Oh no, all three people are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Well, that's right. It's time. You'll now be thrown to a massive panic debate. During the massive panic debate, three different period debates will happen at the same time. But remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. Weak point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the same. So just hearing triple the opinions. So just hearing triple the opinions. Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and connect. Because we to listen more clearly. Okay, so though everyone's opinions find the lie or contradiction and refute it. You can also use B counters, so if you jump up and then get that shot. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. Robot? Like Kibo? None of us there could have killed All the different words are confusing me, but Kaito's statement was suspicious, right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm staying calm and listen to everyone's you know I would never touch a I can't me? We were having a strategy meeting together, remember? Rantaro's the one who left in the middle of it. Robot? Like I hear it! That's right. Maki State account. Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? That idiot already forgot. Yonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Yes! Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight so Gonta can fight Monokuma! Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Wow! Oh, come on! How is looking at Bug supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! But that's good! But why did you lock the door? Because Gonta need focus. Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Because you don't have an alibi. Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell oh Gonta <laughs> where to find <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. What will you do without an alibi? We'll all choose you. Don't Jeez. Please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. Yeah, that is true. Don't I'm not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. All right, it sounds like the culprit, and we all vote for you. The more dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. That is true. Okay. Gonta will try, for everyone's sake. <laughs> fight, Gonta! Fight, fight, fight! Jeez, Angie's so disturbing. Come out, you fucking bobblehead! We are alone. This means getting loud and heated, but if I just focus on everyone's voices, so hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Gonta not culprit! Cause to leave AV room, 
Santa must walk through game room where friends are to even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AB room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway, too. There is. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door, you can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow and killed Antaro. Hmm, sliding door. That's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Go to not culprit! What the? We got to have gone to the library from AV room without anyone noticing. Could that really have done it? Go to not culprit. The sliding door. No. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. to use the sliding door. You saying I'm wrong? He's got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Did you mean to say sass? I am. Um, think you left out an S. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. That is true. When there was no indication of the door being forced, there was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Oh, jeez. Vicious little. If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library, he'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Huh? What do you mean? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. What do you mean? Saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? How? Oh, oh! I didn't know that was a possibility! Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also he would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Yeah, oh! Perfect. But wait, then how did Gota kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained for these demos. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. Thank you. The oh. door in the AV room faces the real oh. door of the library. I see where she's getting at. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Yeah. Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open. So you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. Pick an in the AV room. Maybe I got the force open the sliding door with a screw string. No. Ah. Oh, 
the posters! Do we like the posters themselves? Oh wait, what about this? I get it! Ah that okay. the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, oh. then you can open it. The screen itself is quite <coughs> That would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Oh, How honest. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off when someone set foot into the room. That is true. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantaro while he was still in the AV room. Oh, don't you know you the library. So does that mean Gonta threw the shot for Cole? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw- Wait! You're not crazy at all! Throwing a shot put ball is totally normal! Yes, the act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. The entire body was a costume for the demon sliding through as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to pick the victim. Well, he did to throw that uh, manhole book. Was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole. That is true. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot to ball at his target. Yup, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me. I have a variety of custodial functions. Wow. Can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot put ball. Well, I think I've heard enough. Maybe. Gonta's the culprit. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him. Wait, there is evidence! There is evidence where that's not possible. You know, I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right one. Wait. He's innocent. I know, I know why. Moving bookcase! So we agree, Gunt is the culprit! Gunt are not culprit! Honest! Typical degenerate male excuse. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. Yes, or what? No, that's wrong. You're doing really good. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room because there was an obstacle between Rantaro and Gonta. The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, yeah. that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Oh. Shoot! Oh, the diagram! Okay, where's the diagram? were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. 
The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Sorry. I don't oh, think we need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. No, Gonta understand. Because we gotta find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. <laughs> I hate this sentimental crap. Why's that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time. Dad, you're a loner. It's too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm Jones in relief. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. It's good that Gont is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantara died. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot that ball. But where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Yeah. If anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. And what's wrong, Shuichi? Whoa. Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Oh, okay. He knows who it is. How do we find this darn culprit now? Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? That is true. Or they're even human. Are you oh. referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? Like... If Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then oh. what the Tua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of a Tua. Then I yeah, will speak on the Tua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. What? Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Mm -hmm. Super serious, brother. Yeah, waiting for the culprit to enter the library without being caught on camera. Is that really possible? I should continue explaining on his behalf. Oh, this should be interesting. But wait, there's books. Block. She's talking about the vans, is she? Library van. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! That's a possibility. The culprit was lying in wait there. If that's true, the suspects are those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement hall. Okichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! <laughs> Behold, Atua's divine logic! Yeah, that's a nice mission. Inside the hidden door! Wrong! No, that's wrong! Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think.
think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge a tour? I don't think the hidden door was ever used. The card reader. Oh, there's that still there. Well, the card reader wasn't used. That means the master mind didn't hide it. You are investigating the master mind. Dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog is lifted. Whoa, what? <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Huh? What do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the camera was even set. It looks like a skull. You seem to have contradicted. Well, this sort of thing happens. You go in a one to one debate called a rebuttal shutdown. For that rebuttal shutdown, for now, let's explain the controls. Uh huh. We explain. Wait, what? You move the triple with L and line with your opponents. Oh, okay. So I have to move it. How do I shoot it? Normal slash, true. The truth blade. Okay, you just regular weak points up here. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Goodbye, showdown. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the Wilder has got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the camp, they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro and took off. Advance. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we be none the wiser. I'm trying to see holes in Ryama's same argument. I think I can present that will break down. Not if they went back into hiding right after killing Rantar. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and be none the wiser. There we go! I like this character. I'm having fun. The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door... This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. That's four. This one shows the other four people running in after That's they hit Tenko's screen. One, two, and finally, three, everyone four, else five, coming in six, after seven. hearing the body discovery announcement. That's 15. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? That's true. Um, Suichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. Is Suichi okay? He's being really quiet. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the camera? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your has to be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? Yeah. So both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit laid in so Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking. Then turned invisible. Yuko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory. Um, yeah, no. 
There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right, we have evidence that proves that it would have been impossible. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one! That would be the stacked books. I get it. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. Yep, that's true. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. That While we true. were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe divine intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. That is true. Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their interval. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. You? What's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? Wow. But I, I told your little beta boy to wait after I gave you the remodeled camera. What? What? Shuichi? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I... I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah... Gee. That's pretty much a lie. No, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Fuichi placed go off when they pick up movement. That is true. It takes 30 seconds for the film to auto roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, Anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? Yes. That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! Don't be an asshole! I have an alibi! Remember the dining hall? Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi. Shuichi? I give, Shuichi. Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you for the day. That's up already! Did you kill Rantaro? He knows who it is! He knows who the culprit is! <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! Wow. No way, Suichi can't be the culprit. It's definitely wrong, there's no way. I presume to believe Suichi is the culprit. It's definitely not possible. How would you know? Last trial, intercession. What? Dun, 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 dun! <laughs> We're finally getting halfway point to this class trial. So let's, so let's pick up where we left. So let's try to summarize everything we learned so far. 
There's no way a person could ever go through both of the doors in the library. Gonta has a solid alibi that he is innocent. Miyu, Miyu has the camera intervals that will help that will help the killer do a 30 minute kill, 30 second killing. And Suichi might have the possibility of knowing who the culprit is. We're already halfway. We're already halfway through this trial, and I think the pieces are starting to fit. But then again, there might be another possibility. What is that possibility? Hmm. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make a bit of sense. So, Gonta has an alibi, there's a camera overlaws, everybody could possibly be a murderer, and Suichi is not innocent. But there's something off about all this. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm got to end this video here. We'll have to find that out on the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and see more videos like this on a daily basis. Subscribe day totally free. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below for other games I may play. Where you can do check out some other videos you think you might like. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. What's gonna happen to Suichi? Is he the culprit? Is he not? I don't believe it is, but maybe we're overlooking at this. This is Don Gunrumba after all. Full of surprises, full of despair, willing to give us the game that we paid for. So. Thank y'all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see y'all on the next coming video. Goodbye, everybody, and thank y'all so much for watching. Let's see what happens next.